this video with the Excalibur. Um, and in this one now, we're going to start up with uh, the Irish DLC. Um, oh, first though, I want to sneak a hyper. Because I've mean, killed all but the last cultist, so grab that while we can. Seen anything interesting while on your travels? Nope, nothing at all. Where, did, where is he? Did I leave him by accident? Okay, where's the devil is he? Oh, there he is, right here. Hi, Tam! Bro. Eivor, did Basim contact you in Norway? Oh, yeah. He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. So, Hi, Tam. Funny thing. This will be hard to hear, but Basim attacked us in Norway. Vengeance for some transgression of ours, imagined or real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together. I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd, he loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. All right, so can I not give you that? No. I have to go. Right, then. then go in peace. I, I can't give you anything here. So, yeah. Get baffled. Let's go find V in a bit. Okay, you're a dude. Perhaps you can aid me in locating Hytham. Oh no, you're a woman. What is okay. your purpose with him? I have brought a sampling of goods from Ireland. That is, if I can bring my ships to dock. Azar! I see you've met Eivor Wolfkist. Ah, so you are Eivor. In fact, I bring you a message from Ireland. I know no one in Ireland. The letter mm. is from Dublin's king. Sadly, I seem to have misplaced it. The King of Dublin? Why would such a one write to me? He wishes to expand trade to England. The purpose of my bringing goods here. Azar is from the East, but lives in Ireland now. But in matters of trade, Azar, your King should petition Ranvi. He claims to know Eivor. He asked me to accompany you on the trip there. I know no King, and I'm certainly not about to journey to Ireland. But first, Azar, you must build a trading post. In fact, where is your trade ship? Ah, oh, yes. An unfortunate incident most concerning. Trading rivals have blocked the river and thus my goods. A blocked river hurts all Ravensthorpe. Stay. I'll put things right. As you see, Eivor is a person of action. Yeah, I am. Find me later, when the river is safely clear. Of course, my friend. I thank you, Eivor. I will find the king's letter in the meantime. You keep insisting that I know an Irish king. It is a fantasy. Hmm. What right, manner uh... of king is it that sends me letters from Ireland? Let's see. Where is it? You are... Okay. This one. I should have probably checked where I was jumping. This area is off limits. Your time 
that up. Um, unless those ones I'm just uh, sitting on fire. There you go, we sat on fire. Alright, so 
Okay, so let's stop the time. Eivor. Yeah. You too. Eivor, could you spare a moment? Sure, what's up? Tarben. Oh. Forgive yeah. my being forward, but I have kept too many secrets in life. I will not carry another. Okay. I care for you, Eivor. <gasps> Since we burned my name in the ledger that day, my thoughts have drifted back to you daily. Oh. Yeah, okay, let's I go. I care for, for you as well, Tarvin. You speak words that I have often said myself. You mean that? You and I are so alike in our nature. But you temper the flames that burn in me. That comforts me. In you, I see the fighter I once was. Yet your aims are noble. Honest. I cannot look away. May I... May I kiss you? Oh, you're so romantic. Bless. Aww. Does this mean we're hitched now? Or do we have to have some fancy ceremony? See, if I could, I'd go for Hytham. Azar, the river is clear, save for a few bodies and sticks. Your goods will get through. Your reputation comes honestly then, though I am not sure about the name Wolfkist. The scar mm -hmm. on my neck. Ah, my Viking name would then be Azar One Eye. Thank you, Azar One Eye. My men will help construct your trade post. Then I am twice debted to you. If ever you change your mind about Ireland, I will be found in the trade post, once built. Oh, okay, okay. and I found your letter. Here. See, I thought I was going to need to find some supplies. I mean, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin Barith is alive, and king of Dublin. The Nornian never failed to delight. Eivor. Are you prepared to go to Ireland? Yes. Azar, you did not tell me the king was my cousin. It was most amusing this way, was it not? A little mystery. I prefer to know what is what. But it was a pleasant surprise. He's eager to see you. Shall we set sail? Yes. Yeah, I would like to see this land. And my cousin Barith.
Ireland. A patchwork of petty kings jostling for hills and pastures and green, green glens. My adopted isle. Yeah, Ireland is pretty, I'll give it that. I've been there in real life. Azar, how is it that Barith, as knows as ice, is king of Dublin? Dublin is a Viking city, Eivor. But in fact, merchants and beggars come from all parts to parade in its muddy streets. Odd to think of Barith as king of a city. It perhaps sounds grander than it is. Ireland has many, many kings. They litter the countryside, and Barith's throne is not secure. Flan Shinna calls the tune. Who is he? Soon to be crowned High King of all Ireland. Flan distrusts Vikings, though he needs them. Barith will find a way. As a boy, he wasn't much of a fighter, but somehow always came out all right. I'm sure what you say is true. Certainly, he is loved by his people. at least. Right a place all up there. But we're gonna do the first things first. We are going to hit every ore log, every drinking cha challenge, and every viewpoint that we can. Your crew can find lodging here. Come, let us find Barith. I don't want to yet. Eivor! Blood of my blood! Look at you! Oh, you, you have on Thrusta's cheekbones! <laughs> and you, the seven-year-old, lives in you still. It has been a long stretch since we pelted old Ganfrid with apple cores. <laughs> he never forgave us that. And Sigurd in the clan? How goes with all? There is much to that? tell you, Barith. But let me breathe your Irish air. Thank you for keeping my ports from being set ablaze in my absence. My ports? Yes, old man. I can rule my city even without you here. Eivor, you arrive in good time. I'm hosting a feast in honor of my son, I'm Sifrid. Confused. He is 17 today. A 17-year-old son. And rather a difficult boy at that. Come, there's much to show on the way to my castle. A kingship, a son, and a castle. Truly, you have a fine life, Bahar. Castle? It is a wooden house. Finely crafted, to be sure, but in Shiraz, it would be home to a middling rug merchant. Lead me to your rock merchant's wooden hovel, Barith. <laughs> no, I guess we're following you for a second. Just look at her docks. Mm -hmm. Wee babe of a city, but the biggest port in all Ireland. You cannot appreciate Irish air without enduring the stench of our docks. It is upon the strength of this port I plan to secure my kingship. Azar told me that your throne may not be entirely steady. King Flan needs some persuading is all. Dublin's vast trade web will bring wealth to all Ireland. If Flan can be made to see that, my kingship and that of my children's children will be safe. I cannot guarantee your throne, but a vast trading web is within my power. No one else I trust my commerce to, old man. You let them call you that. I call him worse things. Forest, my king! I still owe you a horn of ale. This is where I leave you. Don't miss the banquet. I'll be there shortly. Nice little uh, shop you got. Come on, dude. Walk fast, Barrett. My nicey king. Aoife, this is my cousin, Eivor. Show her the bow I had you make for her. This is for me. The craftsmanship is beautiful. Me best work. Give her a try. Hit the targets before the sand runs out. Think you can get them all? Sure. 
I just want to get a feel for how the bow handles. That's sure. Watch my arrows fly. I certainly will. Go! Oh, okay. Okay. It is a very nice bow. Thank you, Barret. Steps off the boat after a long sea voyage and shoots like a master. Yeah, I don't like it. Can I make sure it's not on? Got him. Let's go. Well done, cousin. Wait, is that a house of God? Aye, Christ's own church. Ireland is mostly Christian now, and so is Dublin. Many Norse chewed away for You make a place for them. Them? I myself have a place in Christ's house, as I do in the house of Thor. So long as a god has my back, he has my altar. <laughs> nice. It's a good way of seeing it. I've built this city up from rubble. Twenty years ago, us Vikings were beaten. The Irish took revenge and sacked Dublin. Azar told me that it is a Viking city. Norse founded it, and I nursed it back to health. When I became king, I was king of a mud pit. There, up ahead, my home. <laughs> my only regret is that my mother and my wife aren't here to greet you. They've gone on pilgrimage to the mountains just now. The waters there improve mother's health. I am left to discipline my wayward son. And to host a banquet. Which should be already underway. Yes, because you took time away from the feasting to come give me? Could have just directed oh, something. Barred! Fodia! Fodia to you too. <laughs> Here we are. We that we all wear Please go food. enjoy yourself. I must have a word with my son. Come meet him before the night's out. Yeah. Uh, who are you? Oh. Hazar, I was not sure if I would see you here. Why is that? I thought you'd rather take stock of your wares than placidly observe caterwauling Vikings. And you... You would rather spend time with this gossiping Ganti? Mm. I know few people here. And of them, I know you are the one who is always ready with a sweet anecdote. I do have some information you may find interesting. Siegfried's stomach doesn't agree with cheese. Had an accident about it last week. The embarrassing, bed-changing kind. He shat himself. Mortifying for a lad of that age. The kind of thing that would devastate him in front of his comrades. If one needed ammunition. Thank of you, course. Asar. Your company is always enlightening. That sort of information is... Uh, what is the expect that I'm calling their example of a pack of you? Hey! Hi! Enjoying yourself? It's great, Crack! It's a fine thing to celebrate future King Siegfried. I'm curious. How do you feel Barith has done as king? Oh, he's done a lovely job he has. Likes to throw feasts. Invites us common folk. More host than king, perhaps, but he's a fine man and the city has never been busier. That's good to hear. Can I ask, what is, is your life city? like in the city? Money? Well, there's a fair amount of work, isn't there? Hauling crates, shoveling muck. I'm a tanner myself. Long days stripping hides and dousing them in cow piss. You can probably smell the stench. I can. Mm. 
Enjoy the feast, friend. You as well. This Thorstein needs uh, taking down a peg or two. Sigfrid! I expect my son to act like the future king, not roll in the muck. So Flan will take you on as his farting court jester. Think with your head and not your arse. Flan can assure my throne, which will one day be yours. That makes you the arse. Enough! Eivor, my son, Siegfried. I'm sorry, I... I must clear my head. Could you speak to the boy? Sure. I can always punch him in the face. A lot of shit coming from that mouth. Word is, you have trouble controlling it out the other end, too. I guess I owe you thanks for not beating me, bloody. I am not here to quarrel with you, Sigfrith. Da speaks so highly of you. I wanted to see if you lived up to the stories. Does anyone? You're unhappy with how your father rules. Da has the makings of a fine king. But he chooses to play the unctuous merchant instead. A visit to Norway might do a young vikinger like you some good. I'd love to go with Da. Maybe the homeland would kindle his warrior spirit. Give Dublin a fair and fearsome king. Hmm. I've lost track of your father. Any idea where he might be? He wanted to clear his head. That means he's visiting grandfather's grave. Da has a chat with him almost every day. Bareth can commune with the dead. <laughs> no. His conversations are all one-sided. The grave sits at the top of the hill. I'll find him. Thank you, Sigfrid. Eivor! Teach me how to hit like that sometime. <laughs> right then. So, we don't really need to do that just yet. We're gonna... I know, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna raid this place. First though, just so I can come back. The House of God. <laughs> well, Christian God anyway.
Milodame Rūnī Ainarstāniti. Oh, <coughs> God, I'm getting stuck on everything right now. Oh, oh what's this for? Offering stone, what do you want? Fifty delicacies, I have none. <laughs> Where the bugger am I meant to get delicacies from? Oh, it's been like over a year since I played this. I can't remember where I got delicacies from. Do I gotta kill some stuff? We take straight lines, but this one we have to. Make them bleed and take their horse.
Help me out here! Give me a hand over here! Here's the song. We'll share a tale. My mother Let's taught me to care. Let's hear a story. I once sat down and spoke to <laughs> Saxon priest. Not as men with different gods, but as drunk men. Curious? I questioned him. He claimed we might believe differently in who sits amongst the clouds. But our beliefs are not so different in nature. After all, they too look to the gods for answers. Where we have many, they have What's just wrong one. with you? <laughs> Only need one, I suppose. So I asked him, is your god truly so powerful? We see the dark clouds and know Thor's furious at Sinjus Midgard. But I had yet to witness their god's primal powers. What were they? Did he bring bountiful harvests? Boons? The priest said that his god was everywhere and everything. I did not understand it then. Maybe I still it did. It. But there is an undeniable vigor, a strength in their idea of heaven. Believing that their lives will one day be better still. Even with us cleaving through it. Hope, Abel. Hope. I think that is what their god brings them. Hold on, good nice job. Way to look at it. Sorry, guys, I was just uh, listening to that little story there. There's something you have on this one.
to open a secret chest hidden in Ireland. All right then. Trade post unclaimed. Come here for you, bro. Maybe that's where I need the trade supplies go. river from England, but the sky seems somehow different. No, Woman elf. I should be cautious around here. I guess I gotta come back and claim it all after. Oh well, I cleared it anyway. Anyway, um, go there and then we'll head to this I know I've got the key for that door now.
burning so often is annoying. It's this thing is tiny. So.
I'm really curious about it, guys, because we've already upgraded fully our um, quiver and uh, rations. Not speaking much, guys. Just you know, exploring. Not really much else to say about it, really, is You could have at least left it pretty high. My bird so This place is heavily guarded. Is he going to break in there soon? God, every time I see a cow, I have flashbacks to frickin' battle cows of Alfred.
as it does. Nope, abilities, that's it. Um. Ah, okay. So if I go there, I'll take the boat. Yeah. Okay. Ireland is uh, a lot more glitchy. And your oars. Sail! Catch the wind! Strike of the tune. You soul skulls got a story. I often wonder who deserves it? The largest cup of mead at the feast. Volka because she heals? The chosen dynasty of Styrbjorn's sons? Or Bragi, who sits on a throne of his own here on this river steep? Should he get his ale before we all drink? Or do our lips all hit the mug at the same time? This brings to mind an old myth, no longer told, of Olaf, the mead blood. His mead was too good, always to drink. <laughs>
a chest, and ours for the taking. Ready, bro? Oh, yeah, it's out of here! Come on! Is a song. We need an epic tale. My scars tell good tales. Take this one. A hole through my chest and out my back. Just missed my heart. The elk up north are abundant. So I led a bunch of men into the woods, and we found two big males jousting. I had never seen anything like it. Horn on horn, bone on bone, and that's with that power over and over and over again until only a single elk stood standing bloody triumphant facing me we were two giants going at it for food land sex my blood was pumping I told the men to lower their bows as I approached it and cast my spear aside dug my boots into the snow. This was my land now. I had to prove it. We ran towards each other, and crash! I woke up at camp with my screaming. The men killed the elf for food and nursed me back to health. It was the first lesson Pull up England here. taught me. We can continue later. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with that. <laughs> Me 
to cloak myself here. Sorry, Billy. Here! 
Yeah, I gotta get to the top of that hill. What do you see? Attack on sight here. <laughs> My game through here.
Das ist ein Klemm. Was soll man mal am Boden Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. Hold up, stranger! The hell with you! Get on, my God. Tired? Not bad. I don't think that chest is really good. to me, John! Who's with me? Come, bro. Is that a bottomless? Drink faster. Yes, I get it. Let's go. We drink! Come raise a cup and lose some silver! You are short. Sure. Go! 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 Hmm. 
I need to go there. Show me what lies ahead. That drove. I can't find a person to kill you. I'm gonna have to come. Five luxuries. I think I have that. Morrigan is the Irish goddess of, chi of chaos. Three goddesses and seen as one, but other ones say that it's just a single goddess. <laughs> points.
and across the street. Here in the UK, yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh, but <bugger. gasps> Yeah, dead to us. Sorry, horse. I will remember you. Get in the shop. here vigilant
Thank you. Joe. from a distance. Use this setup dead, and friggin' dead damage. and dead. We can never eat too much death. Okay, Dringer. stop, Dringer. Have you lost your wits? Why berate a man long dead? This soldier promised deathly peace. He claimed he'd bested foe after foe, each left more dead than the last. He is dead himself. You cannot kill him better. I sailed with the mighty Thorgest. I deserve my place in the Great Hall. An honorable death is all I ask. Could right. you, stranger, could you give me a just fight and at long last release me from this cursed life? Sure. You have suffered mightily. You deserve a seat next to Odin. Let it be so. Oh, we're gonna fight over here. One of us will find the Great Hall. I can guarantee it. Much more promise than the others. You do not fight like you don't. Released 
me, clever stranger. Another of Thorigest's crew, such as I, survives. I long to see him at Odin's feast. We're slowly making our way through this. <laughs> Wait, was I going after the health? I'll happily jump off a mountain. I'm not so happy climbing. This area is off limits.
think we would be doing a lot of sloshing in our life right now. You know, the valley boots wouldn't be enough at this point. Feel stronger already. Sea skull among you. Listen well. So I may tell you a tale of the Berserkers. And why we keep our potent a secret. Once there was a Berserker named Nori Magnus, who became a wealthy young known for his fame in Jenner's home. Every day, dozens of thanes, merchants, cousins, and other hangers-on ate at his table, drank his meat, and took his gifts. Finally, Nori Yar grew angry about these leeches. He ordered his cooks to prepare a secret brew for a magnificent feast. He then invited every freeloader in his yardum to his meal, promising his greatest gift yet to be given after the feast. As his guests ate and drank their fill, Nori and his loyal guards slipped away. One by one, the guests entered Berserker Gang. When the feast erupted into slaughter, Nori and his men torched the hall before fleeing on a ship, never to be seen again. There nice. is much olden wisdom to take away from this tale. I will let each rower think out which lesson is best for them. We'll pick up from there. <laughs> yeah, don't be a freeloader.
Yeah, we have made some awesomely funky doodle uh, errands. Go down because I got the lift stuff. I should not be seen in this area. Oh, I'm totally <laughs>
Andreas Dominus Noster, and here it is. Caught as Prebend Ocassini in Asorium Abulum, the Prebrient Delicta Patrum Triorum. Stick your head up. Tabas and Fais or a tumuit armis venit aviali. Vel fortibis oida mores necne. Hecris tristes. Shillings or whatever. Take your last breath.
Can't do this alone! are much more attentive than a normal player. What's wrong with you? Oh shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I got my objective. I'm gonna climb all over today. Already got plenty of climbing in our diet.
so. Came in here. God, tell me I could have just jumped up there. Mm. Well, can't do things the easy way, I guess. Why we're going inside this, <coughs> but all right then. Oh, 
Bartley were a little fish. Apparently the horse doesn't know how to climb the mountain. God, I just thought, I just thought about the first mountain that we, uh, the first big point we, we climbed. You know, way back in video one. God, I'm, you've come a fair, fair way since then. Done that, so we're gonna go get the first first. Mm. <laughs> Trying to figure out which side to jump off of. Say the horse is blowing right down. <laughs> I just wanted to see how far I can slide. Fun one, you can just tell, can't you?
Must be blocked from the other side. not to draw attention oh, here. No. Yeah. 
God.
Hey! Come here a moment! Do this alone! You know what, I'll leave that one until after, I think. That can always fast travel.
smells like a trap. <coughs> Be careful now. to bring the clue.
control magic. They got a little bit lazy with the graphics here, guys. <laughs> before you do. get those two and then I'll head over here and get actually I'm gonna go get that blue first because it looks like it's on the same as I us Slowly making our way through Ireland, guys. I'm going to put you in there.
Ah, yeah. Not quite going to reach. Mm. Right. Hmm. Oh wait, I got an extra one. Nice. Didn't know I had that extra rock. I totally made the other one fit. Take you with Put you on top. Yeah, yeah. Ooh.
Come on, that counts. It's touching. We are gonna climb this stupid cliff. We're gonna climb for hours. Especially the way this Abel fucking climbs. I don't even know why she's going sideways. <laughs> This place is heavily guarded.
Okay, so how do I okay, we're gonna get in there? Hide.
And guys, I think I'm going to leave this video here for the moment. Um, we've definitely gone over a time period. It's getting late and, you know, I still need to eat. I haven't eaten today, so... I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you think. As always, we shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.